so what's up guys welcome back to another episode so we're 27 days out today it's Monday so that means it is the start of the next phase of this prep yesterday I had my email sent over by the coach of the next plan of attack with my macros so I'm really looking forward to this week because we get to introduce some carbohydrates again if you saw the last video I said that was the last day of the no carbohydrates completely depleting my body we done two solid weeks of no carbs at all 400 grams of protein and every Every fourth day we was doing a fat load. That is all done and complete. Now it's about moving on to the next phase and I've got the email here which I'm going to run over to you guys um, what the plan of attack is for the next week. So what we're doing at the moment is we're just going to go week by week at the moment and see how my body responds, how my body composition changes and things like that. So macros for today and tomorrow are 300 grams of protein, 100 grams of carbohydrates, and 45 grams of fat. So my um, carbohydrates have obviously increased to 100 grams and I've brought my protein down by 100 grams. We're still looking around about 2,000 calories on this um, uh, moderate macro, should we call it. And then on Wednesday and Thursday, we're bringing the protein down again to 250 grams. And then the carbs are going up to 150 and my fats will remain the same at 45 grams. Then on Friday, this is like my high carb day, I'm having 200 grams of protein, 300 grams of carbohydrates and low fat. So low fat will probably be about 20 grams or as low as possible. So that's pretty much it for this week. Saturday it's going to be like we're going to have a little look over how my body is and then we're going to have a little adjust and like might change a few things but if things go on track my Saturday macros are going to be 300 grams of protein, 100 grams of carbs and 45 grams of fat almost like the same as today but again when it comes to it we're going to adjust and see how my body composition changed throughout the week on Saturday. Things may change come Saturday and then rest days from next Saturday are going to be 300 grams of protein, 50 grams of carbohydrates and 60 grams of fat. So my rest days, we're going to be dropping the carbohydrates and increasing the fat intake. So that's pretty much it for this week. Like I said, we're doing it a week at a time at the moment. And the main thing is, which is really vital and crucial at this stage is, we're going to have to make sure we keep my water intake and sodium intake consistent throughout the whole day, every single day. So what I'm going to be doing is, normally I'll have these throughout the day and these are like nearly one litre but to be more accurate what I'm going to do is I'm going to have exactly three of these throughout the day so one of these will last me until the morning then I'll get another one while I'm training and then the next one will be like after my training for the rest of the day and normally these hold about 1.89 litres which is six Six, uh, 64 ounces so almost two liters in there so about six liters I'll be having a day I don't really need to be intaking that much water but just to make sure I keep it consistent if I have three of these a day that way I know that I'm having a consistent amount of water that I need every single day and then the sodium is going to be exactly the same with my Himalayan pink salt and a little bit of the Frank's uh, red hot and French mustard. So everything's got to keep consistent with my sodium and water intake. That's my carbohydrates. That's my macros for this week. So today, like I say, we're looking around about 100 grams of carbohydrates and I'm going to pretty much use them around my workout. So my pre-workout and post-workout will be all my carbohydrates. So 50 grams pre-workout. 50 grams post-workout because it's still not a lot of carbs. There's no point me getting these carbs in now when I'm not doing nothing in the morning. I might as well get them around my workout so I get you know the most out of my workouts and I've got energy in me and I can restore my glycogen levels after my workout as well. So that's the plan of attack. Also, my carb sources, I'm gonna keep the same as what I was using before I started last week's phase. So just before I ended with my carbohydrates, I was using um, rice cakes, brown rice and ground rice. So I'm pretty much just gonna stick with the rice cakes and ground rice for the moment, simply because my body was responding well off these carbohydrates, they were digesting them well, they were sitting in my stomach nicely when I was training, so my pre and post workout is more likely gonna be rice cakes and ground rice, depending which one it comes, I'll, I'll, come, I'll decide when it comes to it, but 
that's pretty much it. That's the plan of attack for this week. I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, we're going to get some carbs back into me, slowly feel back out, slowly feel the muscles back out with some glycogen, and the sodium is also going to help draw that glycogen into the muscles. You know, so many people tend to drop sodium when they're taking in carbohydrates, and the carbohydrates need the sodium to draw into the muscle. So don't cut out your sodium at all. Keep it consistent throughout the whole day with all your meals. So that's why we've got to make sure we really keep it consistent. That way we can get an accurate reading and how my body responds. So anyway, breakfast time. So what I've got for breakfast is I've got 10 ounces of egg whites, which is about 10 eggs. And I've got myself 100 grams of extra lean minced beef, which is around about 5 grams of fat in there. So that's going to be my breakfast. I'm going to stick that on now. Always using the fry light. So I say in the morning, there's no point getting any carbohydrates in. I might as well just keep it around my workout as the carbs are still fairly low. But that's going to be my breakfast. I've got a load of things and running around to do, errands to do. I've got some beds later on. I've just started up on my sun beds. So most people like to just leave it and then when it comes to show day, they'll just tan up with like coats of spray tan. I don't really like to use that because I feel like I need a, quite a few layers of spray tan and it can hide some de um, definition and conditioning. So what I like to do is leading up to my show is I'll use the sun bed to add some color and then the last week leading right up to the show, that's when I'll add some spray tans for that final coat. So I've got a sun bed later on today. I've got some errands to run, some business to sort out and then also some shopping to pick up with a few supplies like vegetables, a few egg whites, some extra meat, and a few other carbohydrate sources like rice cakes. I need to stock up on them. So it's going to be a busy, eventful day. Stick around, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so I'm just about to get my next meal in, which is also my pre-workout. So I've just warmed up some fish that I already have pre-cooked. I know normally I like to cook it fresh, but I cooked some extra yesterday, so I've just warmed that up. I've got 175 grams of just some white fish fillet. So my carbohydrates that I'm going to be using for today's pre-workout, I'm going to be using some salt and vinegar rice cakes. So I get to have eight of these with my pre-workout. Now I was using these before I'd done the last phase and they just digested really well and they sat in my stomach really nicely. So that's why I'm going to stick with them. So in total I get 8 of these which will give me 50 grams of carbohydrates. So there's 4 and there's another 4 and also with this I'm going to have a little bit of peanut butter just help um, control insulin. So what I do is I have 30 grams and I'm going to spread a little bit onto my rice cakes. So I've got 10 on this one. Three of these in total are going to have 10 grams each. There's another 10. And there is another 10. So, three of my rice cakes. I've got some crunchy peanut butter. which looks absolutely delicious. And then also, with the other rice cakes on a few of them, I have to get another plate out.
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep some of them plain. So I'm going to keep three of them plain, and on another two, I'm going to be using my proteins, the sugar-free syrups. They're sugar-free, fat-free. They're salt-free, carbohydrate-free. Every, every, literally everything. There's nothing in there at all. So I'm going to go for. I've got butterscotch flavour. I've got golden syrup and I've got blueberry and blueberry is one of my favourites so I'm going to go for a little bit of blueberry I'm also going to weigh these out just because I like to make sure I know what I'm having keeping everything consistent so I'm going to put 10 grams on that one and 10 grams on that one so nice blueberry rice cakes and that is pretty much it that's going to be my pre-workout meal like I said we got 50 grams of carbohydrates now as I brought my protein down to 300 grams it works out about 50 grams of protein per meal because I'm eating around six meals today so if you divide that out between the six meals it's around about 50 grams of protein so with the peanut bar and the fish that gives me 50 grams of uh, po uh, protein and the carbs I say 50 grams and I've also, I've drunk half of my um, uh, tub of water and I've still got the other half to drink. So I'll drink that while I'm having my pre-workout. Then I'll fill that back up and then I'll have the next load for my um, workout. And for my pre-workout today, I'm going to be using the Vascomax to help with some pumps. The vascularity with this is crazy. So I'll just get my little bottle that I always like to use. So I said, for this week and probably for the next week or two weeks, I'm going to try and limit my caffeine intake as much as I can. There's no real science behind it. It's just something that I'd rather do. I just want to give my central nervous system a little bit of a break. And not just that, if you constantly use stimulants with your pre-workouts, your body just adapts to it and you get used to it and you don't actually get the full benefits from the pre-workout. So giving yourself a little bit of a break here and there. It's just going to help you, so on those days when you feel like you, you really need that boost of energy, you can use that pre-workout and you're actually going to get great benefits out of it, and your body's just not going to adapt to the stimulants and caffeine. So that's going to be my pre-workout, a stimulant-free Vascumax, which guys you can get from Strong Sports, you can get it from their website, it's in the description below, and if you use the code PREP, you get free shipping on all your orders. So if you're interested in getting the Vascomax or anything else from Strong Sports, go check it out and get yourself some free shipping. Also, with this meal, I'm going to have some L-carnitine. So I always like to get these with some sort of carbohydrates. So I'll have four of them. And also to help me digest these carbohydrates, I'm going to get one digestive enzyme. And that is pretty much it. That's going to do me and I'm about to enjoy one of these these look absolutely delicious I say two weeks I haven't had any carbs so I'm going to enjoy this blueberry rice cakes don't doubt it if you haven't tried it give it a try alright so what's up guys we're just heading up to the gym now I've got my seatbelt I always forget to put my seatbelt on. Literally, my gym's like five minutes away, so I always forget to put it on. But we're just heading up there now. Had my uh, pre-workout meal about 40 minutes ago, so I've had a little while to let that digest. It's been a long while since I've had the carbohydrates. Now, that's another thing. We're slowly introducing the carbs back in. There's no point going from like two weeks of having no carbs at all and then just going straight to like a, a refeed and having 300 grams of carbohydrates. We don't know how my body will respond to that. You know, it, it could respond well, it may not respond well. So, the idea is we're slowly bringing the carbs back in. So, that's why for these two days it's 100 grams, then it's going to be 100. 150 and then slowly bringing it up to 300 grams and then it's going to be like a mini 
peak week load when it comes to the Friday with the 300 grams of carbohydrates. Some people would just go bang and chuck in three to 500 grams of carbs after they've done that two weeks of depletion. But we like to slowly bring it up just so my digestion gets used to the carbohydrates, my body gets used to the, the carbohydrates going back into the system. And now I can actually utilize the carbohydrates and not just, you know, you know not get the benefits out of it so i've had that like i say the 50 grams of carbs from the rice cakes just heading up to the gym now i don't have my training partner with me again today so there's going to be no training footage so i do apologize again at this stage like all my workouts i need to make sure i give 110 percent so when i'm not with my training partner or with anyone else i won't be training um no i won't be like videoing anything because i really need to focus on what i'm doing so what i'll do is i'll show you guys afterwards my post workout out meal and shake and then we'll go from there so I'm literally just at the gym now like I said it's about five minutes away which is nice and handy for me and then um, yeah so I'm gonna get this workout done with we've got a pool session today if you guys want to follow the workout though you can go add me up on my snapchat I always screenshot and post it on there I put everything on there with the exercises the reps the sets drop sets all things like that so if you want to give the workout a try and see what I'm doing today and all my workouts go add me up on my snapchat it's just on the screen now and also the link is in the description but yeah i'm about to head in there now and uh, get this pool session out of the way with and i'll catch you guys in a little bit all right so what's up guys back at home now just cooking up my post-workout meal so i've just got some veg cooking up which is my broccoli so i've still got to keep my veg to three cups a day so this is my first lot of those three cups that i'm gonna have and i'm gonna have this with some chicken so in there I've just got five ounces of chicken and it's got a little bit of ground turmeric and a little bit of a chili seasoning on there which I cooked um, into it as I was cooking the chicken so one cup with the chicken and also my carbohydrates for my post-workout meal I'm going back to the ground of rice so I get 60 grams of ground of rice now most bodybuilders will know when it comes to cooking your oats of ground of rice you always need to get a big bowl the amount of times I've cooked oats and I put it in the microwave and it's just overspilled as I warm it up. That's why you always need a big bowl. So 60 grams of ground of rice. I'll put in my fairly big bowl. And then what I do is I'll stick this in the microwave, which is just underneath you guys. So I'll stick that in there for about two minutes and also when that's done, once that's warmed up, I'm going to have 30 grams of ISO whey which is the chocolate caramel flavour. So I'm going to mix that in with my ground of rice and that's pretty much it. When I was up at the gym, there was a loyal subscriber who trains at the same gym as me and he found out that today is my introduction of carbs again and I'd like it to put carbs back into my system. So he kindly bought me a selection of goodies so i just wanted to shout out to him rob smith i know you watch all my channels and watch all my videos and everything so i just want to say a massive thank you for all these goodies that you've given me i won't be able to consume any of them just yet but no doubt i will at some point so we've got some oreo cookies which are vanilla flavor obviously some sort of fake brand and we've also got a chocolate one no doubt these are going to taste delicious we've got some sweet and salty nut like chocolate bars which has got some peanut and almonds peanut is my favorite this is my favorite one now he knows i love a blueberry muffin so in here it's got just that a blueberry muffin which looks absolutely delicious it's got some muesli with some berries and cherries in there and some sort of other cereals with load of sunflower seeds pumpkin seeds and those other chai seeds and things like that so a massive shout out to you i appreciate that oh like i said i can't have none of that just yet but no doubt i will be digging into those carbohydrates at some point and i'll show you me digging into them but yeah that's pretty much it i'm gonna get my post-workout meal in just waiting for my broccoli to cook and my ground of rice as well which should be done any minute now and then that is going to be it for my carbohydrates today like i say 100 grams of carbs total today and then like on Wednesday and Thursday, we'll boost it back up to 150. And then Friday, we get 300 grams of carbohydrates. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, guys. So while I'm getting in my post-workout meal, I'm just replying to a few clients. So I've had a lot of questions sent through asking about diet tips. 
or how to grow, what am I doing to lose weight and things like that. So I do online coaching. If any of you guys are interested for my service, go check out the website www.trainedbywarrior.co.uk. That way you can find out all the services that I provide with all my programs. I do fat loss programs, muscle gaining programs, 12 to 16 week transformation programs, all sorts of things like that flexible dieting, if it fits your macros, all different types of programs that will help fit your lifestyle and get you the results that you want. So, you know, for those people that have been asking all the questions and for tips and advice, go check out the website. If you are interested in signing up with me and signing up for my programs, you can do it over there on the website. But I'm just replying to a few of my clients now, doing some check-ins, going over their programs, their diets and things like that. So I'm gonna do that while getting in my post-workout meal. Then I need to get myself out and get all these errands run and also I need to go get my sun bed done um, and that's pretty much it. So Alright, so what's up guys? I'm just outside the uh, tanning shop about to go in and get my sun bed done but there's a bit of a queue at the moment so I'm just sitting in the car. While I'm in the car, I'm just going through my fitness pal. Now, a lot of people ask me, how do I check my meals and how do I know what I'm eating? So I pretty much just get the macro sent over by my coach and then I'll calculate the foods I'm eating throughout the day. So on here, you can see I'm putting all my meals, like my post-workout, which was the ground of rice, some chicken and the ice away. So my next meal today, I'm gonna have 175 grams of tuna. Then a little bit later, I'll have some chicken breast, which is about 160 grams. And then to finish off my night, I've got my eggs, four whole eggs and eight ounce of egg whites. So in total, my macros will look like this. 300 grams of protein, 100 grams of carbohydrates and 45 grams of fat. So for you guys that have been asking, how do I check my macros and how do I do all my meals throughout the day? Literally, the coach will just give me what my macros are. So whatever it is, 300 grams of protein, 100 grams of um, carbs, and then I will make the meals up by using the MyFitnessPal app and using the foods that I like to use and that I know respond really well my uh, my body. So just a little update on that. I've also got my third jug of water, which I'm sipping on, making sure I'm keeping the water consistent throughout the day. So like I said, I'm gonna to have to wait a little bit because there's a, a little bit of a queue before I go on and get my sun bed. And then we've got some errands to run afterwards and then I'm gonna get back home and get that next meal today. And so I'll catch you guys in a little bit. You all right there? Oh, yeah. I've got a course under yeah. Harry Bristow. Harry. Harry, yeah, Harry. Work me up a bit. <laughs> Would you like the um, goggles? No, nah, no, nah, I'm fine, thank you. That. That one's really good. This one here, yeah? Yeah. Cheers, thanks a lot. So just got back from having my son bed and running a few errands, a few supplies and that I had to pick up. So I'm just about to get in that next meal, which is meal number four. So what I'm gonna be using is asparagus for my veg. Now for those who don't have a cup, a cup is around about 140 grams. So I weighed that out, so I've got 140 grams of asparagus. And I'm gonna use the fry light, just a few sprays. And it gives it like a nice crisp, texture when you cook them up on there. So with that while that's cooking, I'm gonna have my tuna. 
I like using this bowl, it's like my favourite prep Tupperware bowl at the moment. So I've got 175 grams of tuna that I get with this meal. There's 97. A little bit of this. I think 175 grams is actually quite a lot of tuna. So it's kind of a, a nice filling meal. That there is 160, so I still get another 15 grams. So it's about two tins and a little bit of tuna. A little bit extra there. So bang on 175 grams of tuna. So like I said, it's quite a bit of tuna that you get in there with the asparagus as well. It's going to be a nice filling meal. So a few of the supplies that I picked up on my way home. Some of it's for me, some of it's for everyone else that lives in the house. So things like the butternut squash, some goat's cheese, that's not for me. Um, I picked up some more asparagus. I really like having fresh asparagus. Um, that's not mine. Some other things I've got, so for my rest day, my rest day is my high fat day. I get 65 grams. So I picked up some salmon fillets. They're free for a tenner, so they're really good offer which is why I had to pick them up. So I like to switch up my fats every now and then. I've also gone for something that I used to have ages ago in my off season, which is some halloumi cheese. Now per 30 grams is eight grams of fat, so it's really good. So I can get like 60 grams of um, halloumi cheese, which I'll grill. I can stick into a salad of some sort, which I'll use on my high fat day. And also this is one of my other favorites, a combo that I used to always use back in the day was some Greek yogurt, zero fat, and some Impact Weight Isolate. It was like a massive, beautiful dessert that I'd have every single evening. So these are like really good in macros per 100 grams. There's no fat at all. There's only four grams of carbohydrates. Only four of those are sugars, and the protein is about 10 grams per 100 grams. So this is a 500 gram tub. I'll probably use this on my high carb day, which is on Friday, just for a little bit of a treat and a bit of a dessert. So I say, I get normally like 100 to 200 grams of that, and that's only gonna give me eight grams of carbohydrates with some ISO whey, perfect high protein, low carb, low fat meal, which I like to use. And like I said, it's a nice little treat that you can get in here and there. So that's a few of the supplies that I picked up. Also some ground pepper because I was running out. And that's pretty much it. So that's all my supplies. My next meal that I'm just cooking up now, the asparagus I'll leave on for about five to ten minutes, not even that. Just a nice little crisp texture. And I did try and pick up some French mustard, but they ran out of the shop, so I'm gonna have to go pick up some on another day. So for now I'm just using my Himalayan pink salt. So I've got to keep my sodium really consistent at the moment with all my meals. So as you see there, I've done seven twists. Every single meal, I'll do the Himalayan pink salt and I'll just use seven twists. That way I know I'm keeping it very accurate with my sodium level. And here and there, I'll have like the Frank's um, um, red hot sauce or the French mustard or some sort of like uh, seasoning which has a little bit of sodium in there. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna just cook up the rest of these. Chill out. I've got some more clients to deal with and other things that I'm working on. So I'm gonna dig into this food and I'll catch you guys a little bit later on. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for tonight. It's just come up to 10 o'clock now. About to get my last meal in of the night. So I've got here eight ounces of egg whites and on top of that, I've got four whole eggs which I fried. I like them sunny side up and of course my Himalayan pink salt and a little bit of ground pepper on there and that's pretty much it. I say 27 days out. We're getting so close now. And this week, the carbs are gonna be slowly increasing from 100 all the way up to my 300 grams carbohydrates on the Friday. So make sure you stay tuned to check out those videos by subscribing to the YouTube channel. If you did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up for me. Also, leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay safe as always, make it happen. Peace. Keep chasing shadows, they're always on to